Now, since we're at the Foot Locker Week of Greatness event, in your opinion, what do you feel that Foot Locker has that's so special that makes it stand out as a store to other competitive stores on the market? Um, I think just Foot Locker just has that tradition. I mean, they've been here for so long. You know, foot, I've known about Foot Locker since, since I was born, I think. Yeah. So people associate premium releases and premium kicks with Foot Locker and the things that they represent because they've been here for so long and they've been doing it. So it's um, so people associate that with Foot Locker and I think it helps them when in terms of premium releases and, and bringing out a shoe. Right, speaking of premium releases, we <laughs> know you've got the exclusive. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. out of your own collection, what, what do you think makes your collection stand out above other celebrities, other athletes and so Oh man, I think it's got to be the Oregon collection. I don't think everybody's got as much, as much Oregon collection <laughs> that I do. I think all the Yeezys, obviously. A lot of celebrities got the Yeezys, but I have all the Givenchy sneakers yeah. I have. Um, but I like, I like, you know, different shoes too. I have every Air Tech Challenge. Like I like different shoes too. So I love running shoes, every Fly Knit, every Chucka, every Free Run Chucka. So I have, I have a good scale of premium J's and like running shoes and different types of shoes that people wouldn't probably think that I have. Right. Um, so I got a good mix of all of that, which I think. Uh, I think a lot of celebrities might not have. Right. Okay, as far as like mixing up like the medicine is concerned, collaborations have been like a big thing lately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as far as like you, your relationship with Ronnie and mm -hmm. stuff like that, without spoiling it, uh -huh. can you tell us like if you have any future projects coming up with them or any other brands? Um, I do have a future project coming up. Not with, not with Ronnie though, at least not yet. Mm -hmm. um, but there is something coming um, fourth quarter next year. Um, but I, you guys got to be patient. <laughs> okay, right, we'll so be, I can't talk too much. All right, cool. We'll be waiting on it now. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to give you a situation right now. Okay. If your house is burning down, mm -hmm. let's say you could save one pair of kicks. Sheesh, only one. Only one. Like that. Which, which pair would you save? I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> one pair. I got to go bread 11s. Mm. Gotta go bread 11s. And why would you say that? Pair? Bread 11s because those were the pair when I was young I couldn't get. My mother said no so many times to me. Yeah. Um, so as soon as they re-released, I went and got like six pair just so I never have to get these again. Um, so that, that just means more of a story for me. So yeah. it's just more of a personal thing um, for me. That's why I gotta save those bread 11s.